Hello everybody and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some European results for as Albania in our Albania or Iberia campaign. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. Whoopsies. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, let's go ahead and take a look here around the map. Um, I do remember that we had most of our army here in Spain. I think we just finished up a war here against Spain. Uh, I believe so. We can start annexing um, this guy here of Leon. It'll take until about 1760 or so. And I think I was debating whether or not I should annex this guy, Leon, or possibly Lithuania. This one would take quite a while. It's not possible, though. We're about to be working. We're, we're still actually working on a diplomatic idea group here. We're trying to get this province war score cost minus 20% so we can annex all of Spain relatively quickly in at least a decent amount of time. Let's go ahead and go on speed four here for a little while. Looks like Leon and uh, Lithuania do want to be marches, and I would prefer for that not to be the case. So, uh, let's see. Royal marriage offer from Lithuania. Yes, yes, please. Let's actually go ahead and make sure we have Leon as a royal marriage as well. So, um, and, and honestly, in my own opinion, I do believe that Lithuania is probably more useful as a vassal than anything else, so I might actually come over here and just start annexing Leon. I think that will be just fine. Um, we got four, or we got about five years ahead. We're actually still, yeah, we're still increasing our um, diplomatic points. We're, we just, this is, uh, let's see here, this is experienced diplomats, experienced diplomats, yeah, so diplomatic reputation plus two. Um, and I think our reputation was sabotaged as well, so we actually would have been I think taking a, a diplomatic reputation hit, but now we're not. This annexation is done in 1759, so about three years. So at least we'll have Leonese territory over here. Um, hopefully they finished coring a lot of this territory before, before I finish the annexation. Uh, let me see here. Territorial core, Burgos. So these are not cores, Cantabrian and Burgos. They're still working on those. Uh, Porto is not a core. They're still working on those. Lisboa. Lisboa, you're working on that. Uh, no, you're not working on that. Ah, shit. And what about Algarve? No, he's, so he's, he's probably not going to have all this core by that time. Um, he's got a duke, and his duke is not generating that much admin at all. So perhaps we would even maybe want to give him some admin or something. I don't even know if that's possible. I don't think it is. Oh, well. So yeah, basically at this point, I think we've I think we've kind of snowballed enough to where I can probably guarantee that we will get the achievement. Um, should not be too bad. I'm actually trying to finish up this campaign fairly quickly uh, within the next you know week or so because um, I'm expecting Europa Universalis for the Mandate of Heaven patch to come out, and uh, school is also wrapping up too. So I got to kick into gear uh, with some finals, and then I want to have a lot of content come out for Europa Universalis for Mandate of Heaven as well as the new Stellaris uh, 1.5 Utopia update. Um, I actually do want to do some streams with Stellaris and just kind of play around with the game before we jump back in, because it's been it's been a long time since we've done anything with Stellaris. It's been a very long time, so I'm, I'm really kind of excited to jump back in there. Um, let's see, how's our manpower coming back? We need 55,000 manpower back. That is just ghastly. Let's go and put most of our troops around in this area. There we go, that's beautiful. Alright, then we have we have a level 3 Diplo Advisor. We do. We do. We have a level 3 Diplo Advisor. So we should be doing just fine. Yeah, we should be okay. We have a secession at 325. Constantine II Castriotti is our new heir. Sweet. Sweet. Let's see here. Lithuania. Yeah, so once you die, we might be able to put my heir... I might be able to put an heir on your throne now. That would be doable. Let's see here. Why is Leon taking debt? Why? Gain one stability? Ooh, thank you for free points. I do appreciate it. So yeah, let's see here. The truce with Spain ends in 1766. Gain one base tax in Ubuaya or in base production. I'd rather have the base tax. Burgers are mad. We'll grant them monopoly charters. Yeah, that's fine. So we make a lot of money. And we have a lot of troops. And we're doing just fine. Let's see here. I also just remember La Mancha is a is a gold mine, so once we take that, that'll be that'll be fun. Is there any other little vassals I can release down here? Um Leon still is a core. But I think if I was to give him more territory, he'd be very, very rebellious. So that's probably not a good idea. 
I might be able to, yeah, I might be able to create a client state of some kind down here and just have have the rest of this be controlled by a vassal. Um, since we've already annihilated most of Portugal, that'll be fine. Let me see here, regions. Uh, yeah, I'm actually thinking in this next war, this next war might be it. Might be the last war that we fight. Uh, any upgrades for my fleet? No, we have no heavies. We have 37 lights, 34 galleys, 68 transports. We need some heavies. It's going to get like 20 heavies, like tw uh, 10 more lights, 10 more galleys. Why don't we get like 40 more transports? It's going to cost about 20 ducats a month, but that is okay. Because I have ridiculous amounts of money. It's fucking dumb. It's dumb how powerful we are. Um... Go ahead and improve on that. Yeah, let's go ahead and bump up army maintenance so that we can replenish really quickly. We got plenty, plenty of soldiers. We have 8.7 morale, almost, almost like 90 tradition. We've been a 90 tradition for almost quite a while, honestly. We have a pretty, pretty high cap, uh, pretty high floor for for our army tradition. There's a bunch of war going on in the world. That's kind of cool. Let's see here. Any disputed secessions? Anything we can do to people? Apparently, there's a Castriotti on the throne of Bohemia, so that's pretty sweet. Um, if I had any sense, we'd break that alliance and probably enforce a union sometime in the near future. It's actually probably not a bad idea, because I don't think I actually need to be allied with this guy, but he's allied with Prussia, so that would make things very, very difficult for me. So, I wouldn't even worry about it. No other Castorotis anywhere, huh? Castorioti? Just on Bohemia. Yeah, looks like, uh, oh no, look at that. Trier. Why is there, why is there a Castoroti air there? I don't know why. I don't even have a royal marriage with him. But alright, I'll take it. Whatever you guys say. Okay, so full army maintenance. We make about 47 ducats a month. That is amazing. That is really good. Uh, we have a crap ton of forts, though. We really should get rid of some forts. Just in all honesty. Uh, since that's a level 8, we'll go ahead and keep that one. I think these are all level 8s, right? Yeah, level 8s here in the mainland. Napoli, you need a level 8 as well. Uh, I don't actually intend that we'll be fighting war here. God damn it, Spain! You keep allying Austria, dude, for real. Oh, that is so annoying. I might be able to force the Netherlands to bring his alliance, but... Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and put a level 8 here, Napoli. And uh, we'll just keep the force in Spain, I guess. That's that's fine. Come on, man. Can I force you to break your alliance with Austria? Because we already have a truce, right? So Spain recently did break alliance. Trust towards Spain. Trust towards Albania. So obviously he's distrustful of me. So he'd be unlikely to do it. Spain's a great power. Yeah. Okay. So we'll have to battle Austria again. Unless we call him Bohemia or something. Bohemia would actually join. France... Apparently Spain is allied to France. What? Uh, no, Spain, or France, you're the defender of the Catholic faith, aren't you? France is defender of the Catholic faith. Yes, he is. Yeah, he is. We might have to actually battle France. Oh, my God, it's so annoying. Although, this guy doesn't have any forts or anything. He hasn't fortified his mainland or anything like that, so actually annihilating him would not be that difficult. We're going to take these islands as well as the Canaries. Those will have to be owned directly. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter still, like I said, either way. All provinces in the Iberia region? Yes, yeah, so we still have, uh, what, 17 provinces to go? So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then 14, 15, 16. What am I missing? Let's say counted wrong. Uh, we kept on an admin, again. Let me see. Sure. All right. Okay. Um. Yeah. How are we gonna do that? Make alliance. People stay Great Britain. I guess France is allied with Great Britain. That doesn't make a lot of sense here. French opinion about Spain minus two hundred. Oh, so they won't. Yeah. He won't. He won't defend either way. I don't think he will. Holy shit, we have huge aggressive expansion reductions with Spain. That's amazing. Uh, manpower. You want to give me manpower, Lithuania? You want to give me some manpower? Yeah, that'd be nice, buddy. Manpower. Let me go ahead and reduce that maintenance now. 
You should not have any revolts. No, we have minus three unrest across the realm. Cool. Thanks for the manpower, buddy. You're awesome. Um, we can attack. We can attack Poland and like vassalize him. <laughs> we can give Lithuania back some Prussian territory. He's actually lost a couple cords over here. He used to have some some Polish territory over here that was cord. Uh, apparently Prussia embraced um Polish as an accepted culture. That's kind of cool. Let's see, accepted cultures here. We're capped out on military. Can you believe that? I wish I might actually go for that military or that that idea group so we can get offensive really quick and just bust out some ideas. That'd be sweet. That'd be really cool. Uh, we got new troops, huh? We got still green coat infantry, royal mortars, and we have adva uh, advanced Cossacks or Eastern Carassiers. Hell, I'll go for the Carassiers any day. I think it's four shock to one fire for cavalry. Yeah, one shock modifier or four shock modifier for cavalry, one for one fire for cavalry, four shock for cavalry. Then the green coats, yeah, it's still the same amount of pips either way. That's awesome. Damn it, Leon, stop taking debt, man. All right, we're gonna be done with this annexation here. Definitely, uh, definitely a quiet episode. Hmm. Not very much to do. Not very much now, but just truce timers and stuff that we're waiting for. So we still have to attack Austria again. Siege down Vienna. Siege down Carnton, and then have him annul his treaties again. Oh, man. I should just, like, take some territory from this guy. You know what I do wish? I wish that as a as a, a peace deal, you could force your dynasty on another country. <laughs> I really do wish you could do that, because that's actually very historical. That's been done for a long time in history, man. That should happen all the time. Sure, 50 admin, I'll dig it. See, 1761. We're going to finish up the Sanctuary Station Leon. I will actually probably take this province war score cost first. I will probably do that first. Um, I want to take the tech, but I think that this province war score cost is simply too important. Honestly, that's going to change the whole rest of the game for us. Um, yeah, this guy's... We've, we've knocked down this guy's war score cost forever so much. When actually negotiating for the province in a war, the cost can change depending on the war goal. Yeah. So it's 75% reduction. Let's think about it this way. Let's go into the calculator. It's 169 war score, 169% war score times 0.75 for the imperialism cast this belief. But you actually got to factor in an additional 20% because of that province war score cost for just anything across the board. So it's actually going to be, instead of 0.75, it's actually point. Well, now we can do another 0 0.20 minus... I oh, know. Hold on. Let's go ahead and do. What is it again? Let's see. Total war score cost here is 169 percent, but with a war goal, and with the province war score cost, it's 169. That would be instead of 0.75, you have to take off another 20 percent, so it's 0.55, which means that you only need 92.95 percent war score to absolutely completely annex Spain itself with no subjects and no other allies on his side it's 92.95 war score for his territory only so that means that theoretically in this next war if aggressive expansion doesn't kill me i could actually probably take everything here and everything here with even less than 100 percent war score if it's strictly just land that we're talking about so that's pretty cool See Louisiana, Brittany, Tree, or Bremen. Yeah, yeah. All right, look at that, man. It's nuts. Look at that. It's beautiful. I've seen some people they do like a whole Roman Empire thing. I'm actually pretty curious about it. I don't know. We 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 did pretty good for ourselves. I'll admit we did pretty good for ourselves. Um. Hmm. His relations really dropped. Let's go to relations with, uh, with Bohemia. Let's see. What's going on here? Why? Wasn't I supposed to finish this a while ago? Oh, did you finish your cores? Oh, thank you. I'm not going to get any... Um... Yeah, thanks, man. You finished your cores. Awesome. 
So I'm not gonna get any more overextension or anything. Sweet. Let's see, Mexico changed the government. Mexico changed government to a constitutional republic. Glory be to us because of our army. We need another level three guy. Go for that. Sp yeah, for that spy network. We'll actually, go ahead and we can even probably build up some spy network here. We lose 1,200 ducats. Mexico's large. French Colombia is over here. Spanish Brazil is not yet broken away. I don't know why. What's their liberty desire? They have no liberty desire? Damn, Argentina is already independent. Uh, oh, no, no. Argentina belongs to the British. Yeah, Dutch La Plata is there still. British Peru. Portuguese Peru. Uh, Dutch Colombia. So Spanish Canada is also not rebellious. 13 colonies belong to Britain. Is he an ally now? Wait, is he friendly? No, he's not friendly. Is anybody that likes me here? France and Bohemia. Prussia, you like me. You wanna be my ally? Eh, it's kinda of worth it. Oh, I mean, well, it's kinda of worthless. I don't really need it. God damn it, Austria. Austria, you suck. I could theoretically declare war on Austria, I guess. He'd be defended by a lot of people, but... I could probably win the war with how strong we are. Yeah. There we go. There's an annexation there. Gnarly. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's take a quick break here. I know it's kind of a slow episode. Let's go ahead and take a quick break here. And uh, we'll we'll continue on the next episode, fight the war with Spain, and, and maybe even wrap up the campaign. I don't know yet. Um, if my calculations are correct, we should be able to. So, all right, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much.